Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back, advanced students. Welcome to advanced class 30. The big three zero thirty already. Wow. 30, not 13, but 30. 30, yeah. Wow, we're moving right along through the content here. And uh, I want to start with a review of this concept of not as much, not as many versus less. So not as much. Uh, well, in fact, I suppose not as much versus less. We didn't really get into not as many yet, but we'll get in. We'll talk about that soon. But not as much. So, um, there's, for example, there's not as much ice in, in uh, Egypt as there is in Canada. There's not as much ice. And we could say there is less ice in Egypt than there is in Canada. Always with our tongue out, than, on that TH, than there is in Canada. It's true. These are the same. But native English speakers prefer the not as much style. It's not as direct. I just use it right there. I could say it's less direct. But I would never say that. I prefer not as much. It's not as direct as the for the as uh well as as the 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 more simpler form simply saying less. But I, I could say it's it's a less direct structure. But I prefer to say it's not as direct. Okay? So not as something as. I'm not as fluent in Spanish as you are, probably. I'm probably less fluent than you are. So let's practice changing the structures. First of all, changing the structure with less into not as much or not as whatever, as. And then we'll practice changing it back the other way just to develop a good agility uh, with this and a profound understanding that um, and and, and yeah, agility with this concept that the two are the same, okay? So I have less money than I used to have. I don't have as much money as I used to have. Spaniards are less patient, according to my student guide. Sp this is the example in the guide. Spaniards are less patient than the English. Do you think that's true? Maybe. Uh, Spaniards aren't as patient as the English. I'm just reading the guide here, folks. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'm not here to criticize Spanish people's uh, patience, but uh, who knows? I'm not necessarily the most patient person in the world either. There's less sand in Luxembourg than in Syria. That's true. So you can say what? There isn't as much, right? There is not as much. There is not. Or there isn't as much sand in Luxembourg as, not that or than, but as in Syria. Absolutely, because Syria is, a, is, is completely full of sand. Yes, there's less ice in my drink than yours. There's not as much ice in my drink than yours. Yesterday, I ate less pie than I thought I would. I pride myself in my ability to eat large amounts of pie, and I ate less pie than I thought I would. So I didn't, at home, I didn't eat as much pie as I thought I would, right? Almeria has less water than Asturias. Almeria does not have as much water as Asturias. Now, if, if I want to use the sub, if, the, if I want to use there as the subject, I could say there is I menus agua. There is less water in Almeria than in Asturias, or there is not as much water in Almeria as in Asturias. Okay. I eat less fish than my parents. That's true. I don't eat as much fish as my parents. Mm. It took me longer than I thought it would. You could say I, did, I didn't do it as quickly as I thought it would. As, as I thought I would. It took, it took me longer. I didn't do it as fast as I thought I would. There's less ice in Egypt than in Finland. There is not as much ice in Egypt as in Finland. She ordered less than I expected. She didn't order as much as I expected. 
Spain has less fresh water. I said this yesterday. Spain has less fresh water than Canada. Le- fresh water. How do you say fresh water? Do you re- do you remember? In in, Sp- in Spanish, it's it's uh, agua dulce, right? But we don't say sweet water. We say fresh water. There's less fresh water in Spain than in Canada. So there is not as much fresh water in Spain as in Canada. I also said yesterday that Flemish is less important than English. And I, you know, I don't mean to offend any Flemish speakers here. If there are any Flemish uh, speakers from the from Belgium listening, I don't mean to offend you. But let's be honest, Flemish is less important than English. So using an indirect comparison, you could say that Flemish is not as important as English, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I drink less Coca-Cola than I do Pepsi. This is a fact. This is a fact about me. It's true. Uh, so I don't drink as much Coca-Cola as Pepsi. Or as I do Pepsi. You can say as I do Pepsi because as I do, do being drink, the auxiliary verb. I don't, yeah, it's true. I, I drink more Pepsi than Coke. I prefer Pepsi. I drink less Coke than Pepsi. I don't drink as much Coke as Pepsi. That's true. I've always enjoyed Pepsi. I've always appreciated Pepsi more. And in Spain, well, Pepsi is less popular than Coke in Spain. Pepsi is not as popular as Coke. But in in Canada, I would say Pepsi is probably more popular than Coke. Certainly in my area, in my region, let's say. Now, on the other hand, we can change the sentences from not as much or not as tal as back to less. I didn't spend as much money as I thought I would. So I spent less money than I thought I would. This next one is a fact. There isn't as much olive oil in Germany as there is in Spain. Olive oil. Como? Kyle, ¿qué dice? What are you saying? O- olive oil. Aceite de oliva. Olive. Olive oil. Very important. It's true. There isn't as much olive oil in Germany as there is in Spain. There is less olive oil in Germany than there is in Spain. This is very simple, but you have to be perfect with this. You have to master it. You have to know this and to get it right every single time. Okay, guys at home, you have to get this right every single time. There is not as much olive oil in Germany as in Spain. There is less olive oil in Germany than in Spain. So don't make sure you don't get confused with when you have to say as and when you have to say than. I will admit that I don't know as much about London as Richard Brown does. So you could say, I know less about London than Richard Brown does. It's true. I can also admit that I don't know as much about Australia as Natasha does. I know less about Australia than Natasha does. I can also admit that I don't know as much about California as Layla does. I know less about California than Layla does. That's true. But uh, Richard doesn't know as much about Canada as I do. He knows less about Canada than I do. David doesn't know as much about, uh, about ice hockey as I do. Nobody knows as much about ice hockey as I do. Mm-hmm. They all know less about ice hockey than I do. It's true. But I don't know as much about um, hmm, about Irish sports as Fitz does. I know less about Irish sports than Fitz does. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know as much about Korean food as Hannah does. It's true. I know less about Korean food than Hannah does. Right? No problem? Easy? Piece of cake? Pan comido? Piece of cake? All right. Good. 
expression of the day. Yeah, you heard it. It's time for the expression of the day. And in fact, it's a bit of a, we can call this a double. Uh, you get a bit of a bonus because right before the break, I gave you an expression. I said, piece of cake, pan comido. It's it's easy. It's a piece of cake. It's that, it's pan comido, piece of cake, right? No problem. Piece of cake is the class. Do, do you understand all the content? Of course, Kyle. It's a piece of cake. It's easy. We could also say, it's a walk in the park. It's so easy, right? Well, I hope it, I, I hope you're, you're understanding everything. I mean, I'm sure you're challenged enough if you're pronouncing everything, if you're saying everything at home, en voz alta, always out loud with me. But it is time for our expression of the day today. Our expression was not piece of cake. Instead, our expression today is average Joe. He's just an average Joe. It means he's a normal guy. He's an average do- Joe. He's a he's your typical I'm sure you have an equivalent in Spanish. But I don't know what it is. I could probably go ask the um our technicians how how you say that in Spanish. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh but in English he's he's an average Joe. Average average or medio. Como Jose Medio. <laughs> average Joe. So if if we talk about something complicated, we say, well, this this content is very technical, like a lot of uh, maybe financial news. You say, well, sir, a lot of people can understand it, but your average Joe doesn't understand it. So a typical person may, maybe doesn't understand all these details. Your average Joe, we say your, your average Joe, do, or an average Joe doesn't understand nuclear physics. An average Joe can't speak seven languages. Not just any old average Joe can speak seven languages. You have to be very special. You have to, well, be very uh, experienced and cultured, and, and you must have studied a lot if you can speak seven languages. Not your average Joe can do that. So that's our expression of the day. Average Joe today. That's our expression of the day, folks. I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, people have asked me, they said, Kyle, slow down with those expressions because we like them. But Kyle, sometimes you speak too fast. So I'm trying to slow down. It's just I I have so much I want to say in 20 minutes. We only have we only have about eight minutes left. I've got I've got a lot to do here. Right. So if you have any questions, email me, send me a message through the website. Right. Baugaringles.com. And uh, go into your account, and you can reach me. Well, you can send a question to the team of teachers. And if you say, this is a question for Kyle, please send this along to Kyle, which is my name. I'm Kyle. Send it along. Say, please pass this message to Kyle, and I will get it, and I will do my best to answer you personally, either on the radio if you want or with by email, okay? So, as you know, we, we never say hundreds thousands, millions, when we talk about numbers. I get a headache when I hear that. Two hundreds. No, 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 no. Hundred. One hundred and twenty-five million, four hundred and seventy-five thousand, two hundred and twenty-one. Remember? Remember, no S on those numbers. There is no S, okay? However, like so many things in English, we have an exception. Of course we have an exception. Yes. So, if we say, for example, 3.7 million people bought the new album. 3.7 million people. We can say millions of people. So we, we can use an S when we say cientos de, hundreds of people. So it's a generalization. This is our exception. It's a generalization. Cientos de gente, hundreds of people. Miles de gente. Bueno, Cientos de personas. Hundreds of people. Miles de personas. Thousands of people. Millones. Millions of people. Okay? Tres coma siete millones de personas compraron su nuevo álbum. 3.7 million people bought her new album. Millions. We can say millions of people. It's a generalization. Millions of people bought her new album. Okay? 21,000 
270 people, 273 people attended the game. We can say thousands of people attended the game. If we have, for example, 68,521 people in the park, 68,000, we could say, we could even say tens of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people were in the park that day. 3,432 cars were sold. Thousands of cars were sold. 54,219 horses raced at the track. Thousands of horses raced at the track. Tens of thousands of horses raced at the track. It's true. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, folks, it's time for our vocabulary of the day. Aliviado. Aliviado. ¿Cómo se dice? Relieved. Relieved. I feel relieved. Considerar. To regard. To regard. I regard. I have a high regard for him. I have a high regard for him, for example. I respect him. I have a high regard for him. I, but considerar. To regard. I regard him as an important person. I regard g- grammar as an important topic. Seguro de ti mismo. Self-confident, right? Autónomo, trabajador. Self-employed. Echar la siesta. To take a nap. I love taking naps. On the weekend, I often take a nap. But la siesta is a very specific kind of nap, right? After lunch, usually, in Spain. Because a nap, you can take a nap anytime. I can take a nap at 10 o'clock at night and then get up and go out with my friends if 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 I want to but you wouldn't normally say that for siesta would you but a nap a short sleep is a nap that's all doesn't matter when we're running out of time but i want to talk about everything i want to talk about all the comments today all, all the points today in our cl- class even the last point incluso which is incluso even as in incluso everyone got sick the doctor got sick too Everyone got sick, even the doctor. Okay? Everyone found the test easy. The worst student found it easy, too. Everyone found the test easy, even the worst student. Okay? Everyone ate their dinner. The baby ate his dinner, too. Even the baby ate his dinner. Everyone fell asleep during the speech. The president fell asleep during the speech. Everyone fell asleep during the speech. Even the president. Incluso el presidente. Even the president fell asleep. Okay, I would love to continue, but we're completely out of time. So I'm going to stop, but we will review this, this, uh, this, this point tomorrow. So keep listening, folks, to another excellent program here on Vaughn Radio. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll be back with more. My name's Kyle. I hope you've enjoyed the program. Keep listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>